Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some Numa bars. I guess that's how you pronounce it. If not, it's okay. These are just uh, mini peanut butter bars. These are peanut butter and black sesame and peanut butter and coconut. So they're all peanut butter uh, based. So uh, the, they were three forty nine dollars each at Marshall's and uh, they're actually a product of Vietnam. So no artificial ingredients, four grams of protein, uh, individually wrapped, crunchy and nutty, delicious, 40% less sugar than the standard candy bar. These are plant based and uh, two pieces are 120 calories. So they are many, and you get five servings. So there's 10 bars in here. And I don't know if we're gonna be able to share one or not. It feels really small. No, yeah, I'm sure that. Okay. Oh, it's crispy. Well, it did say crunchy, nutty, delicious. It reminds you of one of those little candies, the, the peanut butter, I can't remember, nut rolls or whatever. I can't think of what they're called. Mm -hmm. That's good. It's more, it has more of a peanut, almost a peanut brittle flavor than a... I like it. I like it's it good. quite a bit. It's okay. It tastes like a, just a, a raw crushed peanut. There is some sweetness there. It's not bad. Um, it's not it's something delicious. I would go to regularly. It's not really? Would, yeah, it's not something I'd want to go eat all the time. But it's see, not, I like it enough to eat it all the time. Really? But it's yes. good. I mean, it's good, but it's not. I, I think it's just missing some, I don't know if it's a saltiness to it. Maybe it's missing a little salt. I don't know. Um, if they put some little salt, a little bit of salt in there, it would be good. But, you know, I like it exactly the way it is. Truly. Um, so, these are the uh, black sesame. And uh, these are... Um, Gluten-free, soy-free, no artificial ingredients, dairy-free, vegan, no HFCS, high fructose corn syrup. Um, it's www.numafoods.com. They're kind of hard to open. <laughs> now, this one, you can see the, the it's black in the middle. This, uh, they're all the same calories. Two pieces are 120 calories, so. <laughs> It has a sesame kind of mm -hmm. flavor to it. Yeah, it comes, it, does, it kind of, the peanut butter doesn't come through. No. That, with that one. So it the, does not. Any sweetness it did have from well, the peanut butter is gone. <laughs> the, um. They make a mess too, by the way. You're probably wondering what's the difference between sesame and black sesame. Well, I can honestly say I don't know that I've ever had black sesame until these right here. Mm -hmm. But from what I'm tasting in this particular bar, of course it's mixed with peanut butter, but it is a, um, it's more of a cooked um, yeah, sesame flavor and you end on a very earthy note. So I have, there's a, uh, this is gonna sound very negative, but it almost looks like dirt in my mouth right now from the sesame, and it's definitely from the sesame. Yeah, um, I can see that. It's a dirt uh, flavor. Uh, so they're not bad. They're not bad at all. It's just different than what I'm used to. And given the choice between just regular peanut butter and that, of course I'm gonna go with the peanut butter because. It's sweeter, you know, and I like the flavor of the peanut butter. So, nothing wrong with it though, it's just different. So, this is the coconut. I like it. I like the addition of that coconut. It really adds, um, I don't know, it adds the sweetness or whatever that the first one was missing. That adds that extra little flavor. It flame. tastes like a candy bar. Yeah. The, the only bad thing is if you're looking for the peanut butter really strong, the coconut kind of takes some of the peanut butter flavor yeah, away. Yeah, definitely. Coconut overpowers the peanut butter. You lose the peanut butter. Um, but I like the flavor of it better. But the flavor of the coconut, it, it's delicious. It's a sweetened coconut. Mm -hmm. um, no, it's really I, good. I don't get a lot of, um, I don't get 
the flakes of coconut. Mm -hmm. Did you? No, but um, they kind of get stuck in your teeth a little bit. So. But I do love the flakes. These would be the two that I would go to all the time. Yeah, um, not the, se the sesame one is just okay. It's just, it, I could eat it. But, but you'd it rather would, be left over with a sweet flavor than a Yes, and, and it truly tastes like, like when I finished that, it was just like I had a mouthful of dirt. Yeah. Right? And it was from those sesame seeds. Yeah, it is very earthy. Yes. So my favorite, I know Kevin's favorite's the coconut. The coconut. 100%. My favorite is going to be the peanut butter. But if you see these at Marshall's or anywhere else, if you've seen this brand at your local store, please leave a comment below. Tell people because I've never seen these. You know, Marshall's, Home Goods, TJ Maxx, that's one of those stores that gets in these random items. You'll go in there and get some. And then the next week you'll go in and, and they won't have them and you'll never see them again. And it's like, where did these things come from? So they're selling them somewhere. Uh, so let people know where you found them. I'll have a picture for you at the end and thanks for watching.